these are things that probably are numbers you, you cannot calculate, but you're investing into the future, right? You've got to think, I mean, one island, Hong Kong, is not going to accommodate what we want, want to achieve in the future for our grandchildren, for, for whatever. It's got to be a Delta region, an extended part of Hong Kong. So this is where the investment is, as far as uh, I'm right, concerned. Yeah. Yeah. Having this bridge and the Twin Moon connection, it increased our GDP by 0.1%. Uh, which is about three billion, um, then then pays for it. So you know, it, then it's your judgment call. Our judgment call is okay. So do we want to invest uh, this 120 billion to increase potentially our GDP every year for the next uh, 30, 40 years for by 0.1 percent? I mean, that's uh, I think that's the call. Um, the government number is a lot lower. The government numbers is a direct transportation benefit is about 40 billion. Uh, so, uh, but I think it's a judgment call. So okay, whether we think as we like. Just run, run it, like running any business, whether we think investing this by would increase our GDP by 0.1% for the next 30 years. Uh, as an example, uh, I'm in the uh, trade show conference business. So we started collaborating with the Zhuhai venue. So from an external visitor's viewpoint, it's a lot more attractive than just a Zhuhai destination or just a Hong Kong destination. Of course, we have to wait till the bridge, but we have uh, come up with a new product where externally oh, it's a more attractive destination to come to Hong Kong plus Zhuhai. So it's like, a, it's like a clustering effect. You can't tell, you can only guess. But with these examples uh, in Orison, I would have confident that uh, in 10 years time it will be uh, much more people, I mean the percentage of uh, using the bridge to cross the two places was much more than those people using in a in, 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 the, in, in the Orison Bridge.